Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing the shaft support. Um, so the way that I would do this is I'm going to draw the outer circle right here, and then I'm going to extrude that the one inch down. Then on that same face, I'm going to do a circular sketch pattern of these four holes. So we've only got to draw it once and then it will automatically space the others for us and then extrude cut those through and then go back to that same front sketch plane. And then we're going to draw the outside of the surface right here and extrude that the five inches from the surface. And then we're going to go back to that same face, draw another inner circle right here and extrude cut that down to a certain depth. So it says one inch off of the bottom. And then lastly, we're going to draw this very center circle and extrude cut to get that center part out. So with the final piece right here, so we're going to draw this outer circle first. And then our next step is going to be to cut the holes through using our linear, excuse me, circular sketch pattern. And then the next step is going to be to extrude this back piece out. And then we're going to cut the middle part out right there. And then finally cut the bottom hole out. So this is what the final piece should look like. All right, let's get started with a new part. Go to sketch and we're going to do this on the top plane. Draw a circle. Make sure that your center is started on the origin so we can get a fully defined sketch. And then we're going to dimension this circle to 16 inches diameter. We can go on ahead and extrude that. And it's going to be one inch thick. And it doesn't matter which way you build it, but uh, it'll help if you build it all in one direction. So either all of your pieces coming out of the page or all of your pieces going into the page. I like to draw with my pieces going into the page so my sketch plane stays on the very top. So hit the check. So now we have that one inch disc. Start a new sketch on this same face that we just drew on. And we're gonna draw another circle. Once again, make sure we start from the center so they're concentric. And go to dimension this. And you can see that we're drawing this little construction circle right here. So it says 12 inch diameter. So we'll dimension that to 12 and we are going to click on this circle that we just drew and then come over here to the left and click for construction and it's going to change it to a dotted line. That way we know it's not for use. It's just for our dimensioning and then we're going to draw another circle at the very top here. So we want our center of this circle to be on this circle. So like this but we want the center of the circle to be in line with the origin. So when we do this, we're going to highlight this middle part and then move over until we get a vertical relation right here. So with this dotted line, and then we'll just go ahead and draw the circle and dimension it to two inches. And if you draw the circle uh, not on it at first, the way that you fix that is you click this center here and you click the circle while holding control and you come over here to the left and you do coincident and it will automatically drag it to the edge of the circle and then you can move it around as you need and then if you wanted to you could do this four times and you could just align these centers here to the center of this circle and hold control and click the origin and you could do a horizontal relation and then just keep doing that around but the fastest way is going to be to come up here to the top where you see the linear sketch pattern click this little drop down arrow until you see circular sketch pattern and then where it says entities to pattern down on the bottom left you're going to click that box select the circle and select the construction line so you want to select both of those if you don't select the construction line it will mirror all four of those however you'll see that they're blue and they're not fully defined so you can move them around the way that you prevent that is when you do your circular sketch pattern you're going to select the circle that you're wanting to pattern and your reference geometry circle 
So right here, we see that we need four holes. If we were doing a pattern with six, you could just type in six right here and it would automatically space them for you. So we need four, hit that green check mark, and now we are fully defined and ready to extrude cut. So we'll come up here to extrude cut and it should automatically select these four inside for you. But if it doesn't, you can come down here to selected contour and select the four parts that we're trying to cut out. All right. And then for direction, we're going to do through all and make sure that you're going the correct direction. There we go. Now that we have the holes drawn, we can go back to a sketch again on that same plane and we will draw the circle again. So once again, start from the center and this one, we're going to be doing this outside circle right here. So we see that the diameter is nine inches. So we can go on ahead and dimension this to nine inches and extrude cut, or excuse me, extrude boss. Select this middle part and it has me going the wrong way. So I'm gonna hit this button over here on the left where it says direction and flip it. And we see that it needs to be five inches deep. So you can either do a blind extrusion five inches or if you are not sketching on this top face like if you were sketching on this bottom face for some reason your extrusion depth would be less than five inches so instead of doing math or something uh, to try to figure out your extrusion depth you can come up here to where it says from and you can select a, a specific surface so like if you were drawing your sketch plane on the bottom it needs to be five inches from this top plane right here so what you can do is you can select the face that you want to measure from and then you can do your blind of five inches and it will extrude it five inches down from whatever face you select so because we drew everything from the front face we don't need to do that so we can use the default sketch plane and do blind and five inches hit okay and it's going to extrude that outer part down five inches and once again go back to a sketch on the original plane and draw another circle this time we're drawing the inner cutout piece. So this one right here is going to be six inches right here. So it gives us the diameter. So we'll dimension that to six inches and go to extruded cut, select the inside piece that we're trying to cut. And then you can do blind um, cut. So um, we see that it needs to be uh, one inch off of the bottom. So if you see right here that your total depth is five inches, you could just do math uh, and do four inch extrusion or excuse me, a four inch cut. Uh, but the better way is to measure it off one inch from the bottom. So that way, in case you need to change a dimension later, you could make this object physically longer, but your um, extruded cut right here of six inches will always be one inch off of the bottom. So that's how we're going to do it. So we are in our extruded cut. We've already selected this middle piece right here to do the cut on. And instead of doing blind, we're going to come up here to offset from surface. And then you're going to click the surface that you want to offset it from. So we're going to come to the bottom here and select that face. And then where it says D one, we're going to put one inch. And what that is going to do is it's going to cut this through all the way until it gets to one inch off of the bottom. And it unselected what I wanted to cut for some reason. So I'll reselect that. And then now it is not happy for some reason. Let me try that one more time. So extrude a cut. We're going from the sketch plane, offset from surface. This is the surface we're offsetting from. Oh, now I see what I did wrong. So I selected the face in this blue box. It needs to be in this pink box right here. So we're gonna select that bottom face, one inch. And there you go. You can see where it's going to extrude cut to. And then lastly, select where you're trying to extrude from, then hit that check mark and then you can see how it is one inch thick on the bottom right here. 
And then lastly, we're going to do one more sketch. You can either do it from this top face or you can do it from the bottom face down here. You're going to draw a circle. And this time the diameter is four inches. And we're going to go to extrude a cut. We're going to cut that piece and we're going to go through all. And that is it for the shaft support. Like and comment if you have any questions.